Hi, this is Chris Fisher, and this is Astrology for the week of October 22nd, 2012. The sun shines bright on Saturn as these two planets swooped into Scorpio together. Saturn and the sun. Scorpio is where secrets live and secrets come to light. Saturn represents accountability, and when the sun shines on Saturn, we can expect to see that process literally in the spotlight. Literally, we'll see the spotlight on the secrets. Coincidentally, Neptune lingers at the early degrees of Pisces, another water sign. So there's a tangible connection between these three planets. Neptune tends to cloud the issue with an elusive shroud of ambiguity, smoke and mirrors. It's like we can see something happening, but we are uncertain of who or what is involved. Like a street lamp lit crime in the late evening, this may be cause for concern or last minute shuffling of political motives. This casts an air of reasonable doubt which pervades the whole dialogue. There's this fog of illusion. Emotions run incredibly high as the moon connects with Uranus and sparks a high-tension blast of unrestrained feelings. If nothing else, Uranus is a firebrand, especially in Aries where the fire becomes even more unpredictable. Uranus also symbols not only unpredictability, unpredictability but rebellion and revolution. Is this a time when the masses finally start to pay attention to what is happening on the political stage? Are we going to silently let our future be bought by dollars? Are we going to allow our sacred rights to be squandered by the bankroll of a few? This is where energy can really work to our favor, where this particular, because it's directed in a proper manner, we can also harness rebellion to manifest positive outcomes for generations to come. These are critical, critical times, and they may, re may require critical action. How do we respond? We can respond with our votes and our meager wallets. This is a time that we can take control. Astrology is an amazingly accurate science. Uh, it is based on a certain amount of degree of, of accuracy with the, the precision of the charts, birth date, birth place, birth time. These all form your birth chart, which forms your owner's manual for life. Your assets, your, your liabilities are all there, and I can tell you what those are. My website is www.chrisflusher.com or turningofthewheel.com. I have a radio show every Saturday morning at 11 o'clock on contact talk radio called Turning of the Wheel. And I'm available for readings. I've been reading people's charts all over the world for the last 40 years. Contact Contact me at chris at chrisflisher.com and I thank you for watching these videos and for your support. Take care.